Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This is Bluestone Lake up in Hinton, West Virginia. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is from Uinta. I think that's how you spell it. U-I-N-T-A, Uinta. Uinta, or Uinta. Brewing, this is their wild, W-Y-L-D, extra pale ale. Organic, too, on top of that. <laughs> A lot of my subs say organic means no taste, but uh, I'm still looking at the organic beers, guys. Uh, I'm not going to give up. As long as they keep producing the organic beers, we're going to find one eventually that's going to have some good taste to it, guys. Uh, thing I like about this, right on the side of the label here, it says bottled on 04 slash or uh, forward slash 13 forward slash 12. I'm not a rocket scientist, and everybody knows that. I'm just an old country old boy, but that is the universal date code as far as I was taught going growing up. Either the, you have zero, two digits for the day, two digits for the month, and either two or four digits for the year. Anything else is horse hockey as far as I'm concerned, guys. No codes, no Julian. I don't know Julian. Uh, maybe Julian Lennon is the only Julian I know of. So, guys, let's get on with the show. This is brewed by uh, Uinta Brewing Company, Salt Lake City, Utah. American Pale Ale for OADV. Very low ADV. Very sessionable beer here. So, Hopefully we're going to have some taste to go with that low ADV. We'll see. Says year-round serving a lighter-bodied pale ale. This is aggressively hopped to showcase fresh hop flavors and aromas. Uh, we'll find out in just a second. We get to cap off. Food pairing cuisine: the Pan Asian. The cheeses are earthy, Camembert, Fontina, Nutty, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan. Uh, your tangy, your brick cheeses, uh, Edam, Fena, and the meat for this is poultry. The glassware is pint, becker, the tumbler, the mug, the side ale, the side. We got the pint glass today, guys. That's what we're going to use. And with 4% ABV, it's not meant to be cellared, so this one is just uh, a little over a month old or so. Uh, not quite two months old. It may be two months old by the time you see it, so uh, let's get it done. Uh, out of the bottle, into the glass. What do you think, guys? I haven't used this thing in a while. Let's see if I can still know how. All right. Into the glass we go. See if we can get any head at all. King! All right. Very simple label. Not a lot of colors. I like, you know, the, the real impressive labels that catches people's eyes sometimes and stuff, but the uh, the no frills label cuts the cost on the beer and makes the beer cheaper for us and I'm all for that. Got the data on there, so I'm a big fan of that. Y'all know that guys. Over to the light, it pours a very golden color, almost to the macro color. Very light, very clear. I see the bulb right through there. There are a lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. It didn't pour a super big head of what it did pour is basically dissipated already, so it's got a nose on it. Major hot presence on this beer for a low 4% beer. I am definitely getting some hot presence here. Super hot presence. This is a fresh bottle too. I mean, like I said, it's uh, barely over a month old. Maybe two by the time you see this. I'm a little bit ahead. Wow. I'm getting pine. I'm getting a citrusy. flowery herbal smell on the on the hops on this and I don't know what hops they used on this. It does not say it just says that it is a aggressively dry hopped. And it does smell like it has been aggressively dry hopped and I love it being a hopped head. Cheers guys. Very nice hot presence there. <laughs> Not a lot of malt taste to go with it, though. Very thin. 
very watery. Kind of expect that on a low ABV beer, though. I mean, uh, I didn't know what to expect here on this one. I've been uh, pretty impressed with what I've had so far from uh, Umita Brewery. Uh, Utah's been kind of notorious for having some uh, pretty lightweight beers, and this is a fairly lightweight beer, and, um, and that's probably why they produce this, because they have some really strange laws from state to state in this country, and it's really stupid as far as I'm concerned, so, big brother trying to run your life, guys. Mm. This is a, this is fairly tasty, huh? For a 4% beer, and be a hop head, this is probably the best hoppy beer for 4% that I've ever had. And taking that for what it is, right out of the fridge, we're going to let the other half sip. I'll be right back. Stick around. I, I kind of like this beer for what it is. Remember, it's 4%, not 6%. Just a little on the thin side. I'll be right back. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left here. I'm impressed by this. I mean, this is a 4% beer that's got a super hoppy flavor. I mean, being a hop head, and even not being a hop head, a 4% beer, this is not something that's going to knock you down. A lot of the beers that are fairly hoppy are between 5 and a half, 6, 7%, or even even stronger than that. So, uh, once you get into the hoppier beers and the craft beers, it's like you get further and further and further along. So, this has got a wonderful hop presence to it. And it's only 4%, so you can have quite a few of these before uh, before you're going to be too inebriated. Wow. That'll chug, guys. Being a 4% beer, I would consider this a light beer. This is the tastiest, hoppiest light beer that I've ever had, so I'm impressed with this. Uh, guys, I'm going to give it a good grade. It has a date right on the side of the bottle there. I'm going to give it a B plus. It's a 7. It's almost into the A category. And I don't like 4% beers, but it is very tasty. If, uh, if you want to try a uh, hoppier beer and you're used to drinking something like a Bud Miller, of course, this may be what you'd like to try. Uh, the, something that's not going to blow your head off the first time you try it. So. Got a very nice hop presence, nice hop aroma. Good nose on this one. Very nice. I, I enjoyed it. Ray Beer only has a 65 overall and 49 in the style, so not very good marks there. And Beer Ever comes up with an 80. So uh, I, I'm impressed with this. I'm, I'm fairly not impressionable with something this low the ABV, but it has a it has a very nice hot presence. So they may have taken a very mediocre beer and just dry hop the hell out of it to give it that hoppy presence. Uh, still have the low ABV, but. I enjoyed it, guys. So we're gonna leave it at that. If you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one, guys, and let me know what you think of it. Liked it, loved it, uh, best thing you ever had. Couldn't stand it, whatever it is, and let me know. Give me some comments back on this one, guys. And hit the like button. And come on back tomorrow. In the fridge we'll go. See you then.